I enjoyed it. I, I mean, granted, we had a rough timetable to work with, and I always made you come here. And that was another nice thing that was great about you guys. Uh, when anytime somebody wants to get us together, it's a, it's a both of our schedules are awful, and they're very difficult to explain and try to lock down any kind of free time. And so, the fact that you were able to come here to meet us, and that was that was huge. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been in any of the the meetings and any of the. Uh, the free game stuff so that was that was massive in fact you guys were willing to even just do that that was that was huge that was big for me because i can't leave most of the time i can't leave these walls that was that was really cool i really appreciated that and then just walking through step by step and giving us the options what you know explaining all the things you're capable of doing all the things that you've done at other weddings in the past what works what doesn't given what kind of crowd we might see and maybe you know, throwing out ideas and explaining what each one of those things were. That was awesome. I, I thought maybe there was a chance we could have a, a very quiet night, and so I was extremely concerned about that. Uh, but looking back now, that was a ridiculous thought because you handle it like a champ, and, and all I kept hearing over and over again was that was the most fun I've ever had at a wedding. And I, we heard that from just about every single person that walked in and out of the door. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. I don't even know what the dollar value was because she took care of that, but whatever it was, it was absolutely worth it. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. I remember um, meeting with Troy too and going over numbers and thinking, you know, he, he, like, he was very clear that yes, there are cheaper DJs, but this was not just a DJ and he was very accurate. There was much more planning that I had not thought of and wouldn't have been able to plan on my own um, involved. The timeline alone was worth the money and that would have been without any of the music. Yeah. If anybody's ever concerned about price, I always tell them, you get what you pay for. Exactly. You yep. get what you pay yep. for. So if you have to spend a little bit, if you want to go the cheaper route, yeah, you can go ahead and risk that. But if you want to guarantee you're going to have a good time and every, more importantly, everybody else that's walking in the door is going to have a good time, then yep. it's kind of a no-brainer. If you want to, if you want to guarantee that that part of your night is something you're not gonna have to worry about, then it's then just work and, and go with you guys and, and take everything you guys offer. So it was so cool. There were so many things you guys did that I never even seen before. Yeah. The be our guest thing that you talked us into, yes. and I, I made you explain that to us, and that was still to this. People are this still moment, talking about that. That was one of my favorite yep. parts of that entire wedding, and the best part about it was we had the particular guy that did you know, my, one of my your, men, your plate. Yeah, my friend Dave. He that was so outside of his comfort zone and he handled it like an absolute champ and it was absolutely one of my favorite parts of the whole wedding and I didn't and even after you explained it to him I'm still like yeah that you said we've done this before people really like it, it. it's a fun well. thing to do <laughs> it goes over well we're like yeah, all right let's do it and then I still wasn't entirely sure what, what it was we, we agreed to it until it happened and then the second after it happened I still giggle when I think it about it that was so cool it was, it was perfect it was. everybody had a, a the only thing we kept hearing over and over and over again was this was the most fun we've ever had at a wedding. And this is the most beautiful thing we've ever seen in the way everything went, the music, the lighting, I mean, everything was it was right on the money. And that's I mean, that's all we kept hearing, not only from our guests, but from our parents. And, and, and yeah, it was. I know my parents too were impressed with the timeline. I had sent it to them, so they had a little idea, but yet didn't give away any kind of surprises that we had. And that was unique. Yeah, it was it was perfect. Would not have been the same without Irma here. Yeah, I was. I kept expressing to you. We kept. We've already talked about it, about how I was concerned that it might be a slower night as far as the dance is concerned, and just kind of keeping people, keeping the the tempo up, and just keeping everybody on the dance floor, keeping everybody interested, and not bailing out because of the weather, or forgetting that they haven't slept in a couple of days, and just keeping keeping the party going. And God, you, and you knocked that you knocked that out of the park. That was that's another thing we kept seeing was just everybody was on the dance floor all night long and if the and you knew exactly how to control it from if it looked like it was getting a little too rowdy to slow it down a little bit or if it looked like it was slowing down how to pick it right back up and you kept that that perfect tempo all night and everybody was was happy that everything you were doing was just perfect there was never that dull quiet awkward moment that I've seen at some other places mm -hmm. that it will just instantly stop a, a party or just instantly stop a dance and everybody kind of heads for the exits you never had that everybody you had everybody's attention from the moment you started until we were absolutely done. And it was that right was one of the last song. Right up to the last song.